Once again, time for G-Funk's rant. Here's your host, G-Funk, Jerry Garvin. Ha ha! Getting jiggy with it. What, 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 what? What's up, folks? Jerry, G-Man, actually G-Funk. He used to be the G-Man, but I'm G-Funk now. Rants number 31. What's up with that? That's some great feedback from you folks. I got a good topic that uh, Jay from Suffern sent me. Um, I'm going to go over right now and I'm going to take some emails afterwards. Uh, Jay asks about people who are complete a-holes on Facebook. In other words, people send these constant pictures of their kids or, uh, you know, they're constantly updating what they're doing every freaking 20 minutes, which is definitely annoying in my book. Like, I got this one person that every freaking, every day, up, oh, I'm going here, up, oh, I'm going here, up, oh, I'm taking my kids to the doctor, up, oh, I'm going to the store, up, oh, I'm going to take a shit. Like, listen, I I'm glad that I'm friends with you on Facebook, but I don't need to know what you're doing every waking moment of your day in life. I don't give a shit. I'm just fr friends with you on Facebook because we're friends, but I don't need to know your whole fucking day, every day of my life. I don't give a shit. Like when you put up pictures of your kid doing something funny or your kid playing a sport, doing something good, that's fine. I like that shit. That, that to me is cool because i got a family, so I understand. But when you're putting shit about, oh, I'm exercising right now. Oh, I'm going to take a selfie of me in the mirror. Oh, guess what? The whole selfie shit, I'm done with. I call it taking a lonely. Why? Because you got nobody around to take a picture of yourself? You got to do it yourself? I think that's freaking loneliness is what I call it. So I don't call it taking a selfie. I call it taking a lonely. A.K.A. I stole after Sebastian Maniscalco. But still, it's still funny. Um, yeah, I really... Me, like I said, I post stuff on, on Facebook, too, but, you know, my, mine's once in a blue moon. You know, besides I do my videos in G-Funk, on my regular page, pictures of my daughter, pictures of my family, friends at a special occasion, my daughter does something funny, or has a funny picture, or I'm pissed off at the Yankees. But I'm not freaking every freaking waking moment. Oh, guess what? I'm going to eat breakfast. Oh, guess what? After that, I'm going to take a shower. Oh, wait. Before that, I'm going to take a shit. Like, people who do that drive me nuts. And I've deleted people because of that. I'm like, as much as, you know, I like this. When you're putting stuff about your kids or family, that's cool. I like seeing that. But I don't need to know what you are doing 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. I don't give a shit. So, please, for all the people out there on Facebook who are one of those annoying people who are always taking pictures of yourself... Or putting every freaking thing that you're doing, please, just to a minimum. Keep it to a minimum, okay? Because, like I said, I go on Facebook to see people's kids and friends. Like, like I said, I have a lot of friends far and away, and I, I, I haven't even met some of their kids. So I like to see, you know, pictures of their kids doing stuff or, you know, playing sports or, you know, in a play. That's cool. That's fun. That, that's nice for me because, like I said, I have friends who I don't get to see that often who live far away and have kids and I've never met before, and it's good. And that's why I do the same thing with my daughter. You know, if she does something, says something funny, I try to record it or has a cute picture, I send it so people can see her, you know. But otherwise, please shut up about the God-forsaken mother effing selfies and, and every print and everything. I don't even know what you know you're doing. I, I really don't care what you're doing every freaking waking moment of the day. Uh, I got, I'm going to see if I can get this loaded for Hugh because I got the question here. I'm going to see if it's going to work this time because it didn't work yesterday for me. Of course, live on air, nothing ever seems to work. But um, this might work because I worked, I, try, I tested it out before I started this just to make double sure it worked. And I'm going to play it right now. As soon as it queues up here. And again, it seems to be a problem loading the email. How can that be a problem? This is, I'll tell you right now, I fucking hate computers, dude. Hate them. They never work when you want them to, and they always fucking act up at the shittiest possible times. Uh, th this is why I fucking can't stand computers. Oh, here we go. Wait. Oh, it might be working. I think I got it, Hugh. Something, something I pressed and it looked like it might be working here. I just want you to play it. Play it. Oh God almighty, I just want you to play. I, I don't get this, I really don't. Uh, 
I'm sorry, man. It's not working. Uh, this is why I hate computers, dude. It just worked. Like, before I came on, did my video, I had it all set up. All I did was click it, and it should have came on. And now it's not doing it. Why? Because computers suck my balls. Okay, I'm going to take some emails. Um, Joe E. What's up, Joe E? Can FedEx deliver the P.O. box? No. How can a girl get to second base with a guy? The guy's got man titties. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I don't know. I guess that's the only way you could do it. Um, can you do a cartwheel and can we see you do it? Um, I'm going to try to do one. I've done it one before, but it's been a long time. So give me a second to try to set this up while I try to do a cartwheel. Um, right there should be about it. Okay, here we go. Cartwheel coming up. Watch the screen. Kind of, but I almost uh, smacked myself into the kitchen counter over here. <laughs> but anyway, that's my, I could probably do better one if I had more room, but I don't really got the room for it right now. Oh, wait. I think I... Oh, wait. Hugh, your thing's working. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry, Joey. I'll get back to yours in a second, but I figured this out. I think now. Here we go. Hey Jerry, it's your boy Hugh in Kentucky, the Kentucky Connection. Me and my pa, Paul, Paul Janus, love your show. And I wanted to just ask you what your thoughts are on UFOs. Do you believe in UFOs, Jerry, and aliens and all that shit? Let me know. Keep rocking in the free world, Jerry. I got it to work, Hugh. You like that? <laughs> Do I believe in aliens, UFOs? Um... I'm, I'm on the, I'm on the border, you know. Like I said, I'm still trying to see if there's a fucking Bigfoot, man. Because I'm telling you, there's a Bigfoot. And the day I fucking find out there's a real Bigfoot, I'm gonna tell everyone to bite me because I knew there was one. Aliens and UFOs are a whole different scenario. It's kind of deep space stuff. Like I said, if I worked for NASA, that would be the first thing I'd be working on every day. Oh, do, are there aliens? Are there aliens? I'd be working on that shit every day trying to find out if there's freaking aliens. But like I said, um, I don't know. Otherwise, oh, hold on a second. Okay, so Joe said, um, cartwheel, I try to do it. How long can you hold your breath underwater? Mm, probably a minute, minute and a half, two minutes max, but it's been a while, Pro probably under two minutes. Um, are you a sympathetic vomiter? No. <laughs> if I see someone else vomiting, I might feel like I have to vomit, but it depends on if I eat or drink a lot. Um, could you ladle vomit from a bar sink into a garbage can and sleep in a parked car in the hot sun with the garbage can? You have to pay me a lot of money, but um, I don't think I could do the ladling, the vomit. I probably would. I probably would throw up myself, and then um, sit in the hot car with it. You have to pay me a lot of money to do that. I, I don't know how much it would be. It have to be a lot, have a lot of zeros after it, but uh, it better have a big fat hundred in front of it, a lot of zeros after it, because that that's a smelly, disgusting thing. For a thousand dollars, I'm sorry, not a thousand. For ten thousand dollars, would you put hot sauce in your penis hole? No, because I actually went to uh, visit a friend in college back in the day, and I saw a guy do this, and he was in the most agonizing pain I've ever seen anybody. And I, first of all, I was drunk, and he was this guy was bombed, but it was hysterical. <gasps> Holding his dick, running around, just trying to put water in it. I think he ended up going to the hospital. I, I don't even know. I, like I said, I, I was just there visiting friends at school, but. Oh my god, dude. It was by far probably one of the funniest things, but I don't... He says, it burns! No shit burns! You just put hot sauce in your dick! Of course it's gonna burn! Like, dumb! Do you think the 2015-2016 Warriors would beat the 95-96 Bulls in a best-of-seven game series? <sighs> good question. You always give me good sports questions, Joey. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, the Warriors are really, really good. Even though they're losing the series to fucking Oakland, right? I uh, don't know, Oakland. To, oh, okay, see right now. But, um... That would be a good, I would, you know, like I said, if you can turn back time or make Jordan and that team younger and have him face him down, it'd be a really good series. I think the Bulls would win just because they have Michael Jordan. Um, but that's that's Joe's. I got from Deepak's class. Ravindra asks, how much money do you donate a year to charity? Between probably 50 and 100, no more than that. Um, Mata Sarkar asks, are you a homosexual? Uh, about take the Joe, oh. Oh, he said the, the oh, my friend asked me a question a while back in one of my videos about if I would give blowjobs to, to men. 
Um, that was just a joke, man. That was just a... He wanted me to answer in I would say, because he was being a jerk. It's one of my buddies from work of being a wise guy. But, no, I'm... I got a wife. No, not gay. Um, Lulu Lumpshu asks, why won't you visit India? I won't visit India is because my wife won't let me. And um, I don't have the time. I work. My work schedule, I don't have vacation for a while. And, it, and it's hard. You know, I don't... I have, a, I have a, a daughter. I have a job. I have a wife. I have other obligations. And, uh, you know, I, I, I wish I could. Uh, Steve Zimnu is an exchange student from Japan. He says, do Americans still talk about Hiroshima and Nagasaki often? Older guys, older generation, yes, but not, not, not that I've heard anyone say anything in a long time. Um, Ward Beast, too hot to handle, too cold to hold. He asks, um, you know I had a hard time in high school. What are your memories of me in high school? I just remember you being a smart kid and getting picked on a lot. Um, you know, I knew, who you, you know, you hung out with probably, the, you know, your the geek squad, <laughs> but um, you, were, I had never had a problem with you, man. I thought you were always a good guy. You know, you you were smart as shit, and uh, you're always in the freaking smart classes. Um, I felt bad for you when you got picked on. You know, like I said, I I got picked on myself. You know, not not as much as probably you did, but you know, I, I had my fair share. But uh, I just remember being a smart kid and getting picked on, man. That's all I, re I can remember. What are the same rules in life you classify as the bro code? One, you do not go after a girl. Minutes after your buddy dumps her, you have to have at least a three-day span before anything and get his approval. That is number one. Number two, if you're married, your boy, your friend does not look at your wife like she is a sex toy. That's number two. And number three is um, always leave the seat up when another bro's coming in behind you to use the bathroom. Uh, what are your secret talents? You used to be able, I don't have a basketball. Spin basketball on my finger. Um, I can used to do pretty good beatbox. One of my many talents. But those are two of them. Uh, if, land, if aliens land on Earth and government wants you to wake, to make a good first impression as a representative of humankind, what do you say or do? I get them drunk, and then we take them out in the middle of the field, and we blow them up, because fuck aliens. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I would say, man. I'd be like, hey, hey, you want to come and party on Earth? Come on down. Our luck, I'd freaking invite them in. They'll destroy us. Um, I can't ask that last question, because my wife will kill me. So, uh, that was it. That's about it. I did all you guys' questions. I played Q's thing finally worked. And uh, that's about it, guys. Um, I'm going to take a couple days off, got some stuff going on, so uh, emails, everything, keep coming, follow me, G Funk Jerry G's Rant, Facebook, Twitter, Jerry Garvin 1, and keep the emails, comments, questions, at Jerry G Man 2376, at yahoo.com, and I don't got, I don't know what happened to my song that I had queued up before, but I'm just going to go out with no music. So, until next time, I got to go, I'll see you when I see you.